It is something very special indeed. to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And now the Champions League final commences. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Well, they have it again. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Romelu Lukaku. And dispossessed well his skill level simply off the charts Neymar the player we're referring to Stuart well Derek we know he loves linking up with other players but it's when he's in and around the penalty area that's when he's at his most dangerous when he plays little one twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner he could be the key to unlocking this defense well I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision and that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line Piliqueta superb defensive judgment to end the attack a Chelsea corner And deciding to go short with this one. See throw in here. Mount. And Conte might take.
Ideal weather, no complaints on that front here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Newcastle United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Gabriel, number three. Well, the visitors won't enjoy hearing this, but it is a fact. They have the least proficient defence in the league, and it's something they're going to have to address sooner or later, Stuart. Yeah, away from home, they've looked so poor defensively. The front players don't press the ball, the midfield players get outrun, and the defenders have made too many bad mistakes. It needs to improve today, otherwise they get nothing from this game. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup. But if the wing-backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. And so the match is underway. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And it might be. I'm just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Lovely ball over the top. He continues his run. So Maxima, and up for grabs off the keeper. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Couldn't keep the ball. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager.
And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we have pre-season group stage action coming right up for you. It's Arsenal up against Real Sociedad. Well, thanks, Derek. This is their first pre-season game. Time for players to get their match fitness, coaches to develop tactics, new signings to be integrated, and maybe youngsters to be given a chance. Can he take the chance? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Lacazette. Well, he likes to run at them. Obama Yang. Possibility for Obama Yang. Lacazette! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So, 2-0 now. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how they fare as a football club with the new manager in place. What sort of impact, Stuart, do you expect to see from her? Well, first of all, I think it's an excellent appointment. She's a good motivator. She's a deep thinker tactically. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. Pressing really high. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And that is defending of the highest order. Lacazette, racing forward, trying to catch them out. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Now well, they get the ball once more.
Well, far too much elevation there. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Lacazette Lacazette and denied by the keeper impressive Retaining possession proving difficult. Lacazette. Thwarted by the post. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, I'm still amazed that stayed out. He looks to have done everything right, didn't he? Superb block. Well, couldn't keep it. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Opportunity, Lacazette. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Couldn't keep it. An example of how to press. Possession given away, unfortunately. And Lacazette. Lacazette. And just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Went in strongly, decisively. Partey. Lacazette. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Rico. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And breaking at pace with Menace. All hands on deck. Lacazette. It might be. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, there's no doubt about this. He struck it with such power. There's no stopping that. It's a clinical finish.
So back with the action and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Yaramendi. Oh, good play this. And no way through. Nicolas Pepe. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, surely. And he's outdone. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Playing it short. The cut back. Still alive. In it goes! And the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. This is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. He's given it straight to the opposition. Now getting himself forward is Aubameyang. Here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. That is that for the first half here. 